it comes to after the holiday season, right, you should be actually setting up a remarketing campaign and going back to those loyal customers, setting up win back campaigns that are remarketing to them. I think you can do it through Google display ads. Uh, I use a different service, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and make sure that you're actually making your customers super, super, super delighted. And I think that's key to winning. The other piece is the unboxing experience. So the box that's been sitting in the recycling bin or near their kitchen, waiting to be thrown away, what are you putting in the box to make them come back to your site and make them and win them back as a loyal customer for the future? These are things you need to think about and, and deploy like immediately. Upsells and downsells. Um, so obviously you have all these consumers who have purchased the product with you guys in the past. Well, you know what? They might be returning that product or they might need more supplies for that product, AKA if they bought a flashlight, well maybe they need batteries. So I think really using your CRM system to really do intelligent upsells and downsells of new products. Um, also, I don't know if anyone in the crowd has a call center for customer service, but they do, they can you know train their customer service people to upsell and downsell products over the phone. So we do affiliate marketing ourselves uh, we use ShareSale, we can use Google Affiliate Networks, you can use a lot of other affiliate networks out there. So what we noticed is that the people that were coming and uh, becoming part of our affiliate network were a lot of promo code sites like Retail Me Not and all these other uh, trolls that are taking promo codes and luring people in to their site. So we give up a percentage of our sale to, uh, to Retail Me Not and I used to give 7%. I was, everyone got a flat rate of 7%. And then what I did, I got really smart. I started creating specific affiliate marketing uh, programs. So retail me not, I brought them down to 2% or 1.5%. I think that's a really solid nugget because if they're not really putting in the hard work to get that affiliate commission, they, they shouldn't deserve it. The other thing that we did was we actually implemented a, a landing page that was like crucial vacuum promo codes so that we would come up first. So we would advertise, have a whole bid strategy and then create it in our terms of service, preventing retail me not from bidding on our CPC crucial vacuum promo code. Video is probably the most important driver of top of funnel and new users into your brand. Um, and I think for, for uh, Q4, I think video is gonna be the way that people are gonna buy your product at scale. So one of the strategies that we've seen people work, it, work on is they've come to the conclusion that video is very hard to produce in-house. Um, there's high production costs, there's you know, a time, you know, there's just a whole bunch of logistics that make video difficult to produce at scale. So we've seen brands that we work with actually start partnering with influencers to produce videos for them that they use in their advertising. So instead of just hiring an influencer to go produce a video and put it out to your brand, they're actually working with influencers in a very unique way where they're um, working with them to create ads. And I think coming up with creative ways to create videos at scale is probably one of the most important things for not only the holiday season, but just 2017 coming up. That's gonna be the next uh, horizon of figuring out that solution. I just wanna compliment that. So for videos, we implemented videos on most of our product pages, and we saw a lift of 60% conversions on videos alone. Our sellers, typically what they do to convey scarcity uh, to their customers is they actually allocate a false inventory. So you do it through Skubana. I don't know what platforms other people do out are using today, but you can actually allocate false inventory to your, your, your sales channel. So if it's Shopify or Magento or whatever you're using today. So allocating an inventory of two creates a scarcity. Scarcity creates urgency and demand, which increases conversion. So we'll have 5,000 in product and we'll always show two to the channel. And that's how, that's one of the ways that we win in the e-commerce world and force them to make that purchase right away.